Because the causes brought uh, by the U.S. Department of Justice were settled without a verdict, the courts did not rule on whether or not Bank of America and Wells Fargo engaged in discriminatory, discriminatory lending. But both banks determined um, which of their mortgage loan customers had received discri discriminatory loans according to a formula they agreed to as part of their settlement. The banks then made payments to these discriminatory lending victims through third-party companies paid to handle the settlement funds. It is disingenuous to maintain that Bank of America and Wells Fargo did not engage in discriminatory lending since many reputable government and non-governmental sources agree that they engaged in discriminatory lending, even though they, of course, did their best to maintain that their to maintain their images and their uh, brands during the court proceedings. The U.S. Department of Justice, wisely or not, decided to focus on obtaining compensation for victims of discriminatory lending practices rather than engaging in an expensive and lengthy court battle over so-called facts determined by the court. The bank's discriminatory lending practices impacted some plan participants directly through economic burdens sustained from subprime loans rather than subprime loans offered to similar borrowers based on their race, national origin, or disability status. These practices contributed to the worldwide financial meltdown with significant impacts on the entire economy and billions of dollars in negative impact on SFERS, on the SFERS fund. As Commissioner Stansbury has pointed out, the SFERS fund is only now recovering several years later. The housing crisis fueled by discriminatory and predatory lending Aye. has required San Francisco to contribute millions more to the SFERS fund, impacting not only plan participants, but all San Franciscans who pay property taxes. Okay, next, next person. 